not going to kill you about Pirate Port. Um, only have two slides that I really want to show you. Viva Connections for Education. Why does education need a new version of Viva Connections? Or is there actually a new version? Um, what we're trying to do is really extend the power of Viva, and specifically in this case, Viva Connections, to a persona that has not been really addressed by the current setup in Viva. Um, Viva has been positioned as the employee experiences platform, and we really wanted to go beyond that. So Viva Connections for Education is actually the first module, hopefully of many, that we're really trying to streamline for education. Um, because I said different persona, our goal here is really to tackle one of the biggest student uh, problems that we've seen in the last few years. When we talk to our students to identify what type of problem we wanted to fix, one of the biggest things they said is like, hey, there's a number of things, but here's the biggest one. And the biggest one is that they feel very overwhelmed. And uh, COVID, of course, did not help. And they feel very overwhelmed with the fact that one, there's a lot of ed tech tools out there. There's a lot of data um, platforms out there that they have to be connected with, whether it's uh, their learning management platform, whether it's just overall data, whether it's their tuition fees, whether it's library loans, all this specific information lives in different uh, systems. And really understanding, especially as a first year student or a first generation student in higher education, but also at K-12, really uh, caused a lot of issues for our students. The second thing that we got, not just from the student, but also from the organizations themselves, was like, we really feel that our students are disconnected. With COVID and remote learning, we really don't feel that our students still feel connected to the identity as being a student of Organization X. And we really want to provide more information. We want to connect with our students better. So when we looked at a platform that we wanted to build on top of it, it was a very easy choice. It was Viva Connections. And really what we're doing with Viva Connections is we're using the same base platform, but we're actually educationalizing. it. And what does it actually mean is we're going to present education specific information, specific features on top of the platform. So um, I'm actually very happy to announce that this morning we released a blog post that all our education Viva cards assignments, courses, library loans, tuition fees, internships, I'm going to show you that in a bit in the demo as well, all have hit general availability and are available for all our education customers. So it doesn't matter if you're in uh, K-12, whether you're higher education, whether you have the free A1 license, A3 or A5, any type of license is supported and, will, and does have access to all the features uh, of Viva Connections for Education. So the three major goals with Viva Connections for Education are these three pillars. One is to create a digital home, same way as Viva Connections is doing for the employee, but now really for the student is to provide a digital home for the student to present them with a home base to start their day. All the information that is relevant for the student will be presented there, will be visualized. And what is really cool is that the organization has full control over that. So if you as an organization want to present, um, let's say, information directed to tuition fees, um, registrations, uh, specific blockers that students are working with, mental health, um, all that information is available and can be presented in that digital home. The second thing is to simplify it, right? One, of course, is the digital home itself, but also uh, being uh, personalized. We only want to show information to the student that is relevant for that student, and just by using audiences, and even if you uh, saw the roadmap uh, with the multiple home experiences, is really going to benef be beneficial for the student to see what they actually need to see. And then finally, staying connected. Staying connected with the organization, but among themselves as well. We know that Viva Connections is the entry to multiple modules within the Viva suite. We feel that Viva Engage is the next one that really is driving a lot of student engagement, the ability to create communities, the ability to bring people that are like-minded together, but also additionally from a leadership perspective, from a organization perspective, generating the right information, the right news so that people feel informed and feel connected is something that is super crucial and that a lot of students are really accepting in a very positive way. Like I said, no kill by PowerPoint, 
two slides. That's what I promised. So let's keep that. What I want to do now is really show you what we've been doing with Viva Connections for Education, right? So the first two cards that you see here are the assignments. What is really cool is that a student immediately can see which ones are upcoming, which ones are past two. If they're past two, you might want to get an, uh, a beat on it because that means that you might not get your full grade anymore. But this is immediately going to show you which ones that are getting to that level where you need to take some action on it. And one of the key things that is super powerful with the ACE technology that we have here is that everything is actionable. So if I click on this specific assignment, it's automatically going to take me to the assignment that is available here and will actually present the right information. Of course, Teams is going to throw a fit today, but there it is. So you see all your background, you see objective deliverables, right? You can start working on it. You can turn it in if you're completely done with it. But that was something that is super crucial for us is that it had to be actionable. The same thing here, courses, when we click on it, it's going to take me directly to the right class. Um, if you're not familiar with Teams for Education, know that we have a number of templates that are unique to education. The classroom is one of them, and that's really what we're showing here. But additionally, we know there's a lot of information out there that is relevant for students that students have been asking for, like, for example, the ability to book a space, like their library loans, tuition fees, internships, scholarships, that kind of thing. The problem is that there's tons of different systems out there. They all have their APIs, but we as Microsoft, we cannot always create to all the different systems, right? That would just create a lot of work and the return on invest necessarily is not always there. But to kind of make sure that our customers and our partners and uh, by extension, you guys don't have to start from scratch. What we actually did was to provide a uh, code sample, which is available on the samples that Veza er mentioned earlier. So you can actually go there and see these five code samples that are available here. What we've done is attach some sample data so you can actually see what is the impact, what does this mean, how does it react, right? And if you have engineering teams uh, or you are uh, supporting an education customer, you can attach a real API to it and present real-time information for this specific student, right? The same thing goes here for tuition. You can see that in this case, I uh, have uh, 3,829 uh, fall tuition that I need to pay for the people who don't live in the US. <laughs> you're going to see that those charges are quite on the high side. And for the people who live in the US, you're going to see that they're quite on the low side. Um, same thing here for internships. So we're really presenting a lot of different options and they're ready to use, right? So they're uh, completely uh, publicly available. You can work on them. You can contribute to them. Um, we're actually thinking at this point as well to even make our internal cards like assignment and courses available on GitHub as well in the same a GitHub repository where these code samples are. It's still a decision that we're looking into, but we think there's a lot of opportunity there for to have people like you guys who understand the technology want to bring in some additional functionality to get that done as well. So that's really what we're trying to do with Viva Connections for Education. Two features that I really want to call out that are on the roadmap that are coming out soon. One is the multi-home experience. So now we can actually create experiences, one for faculty and staff, and then students students or different group of students. And then finally, one thing that students have been asking for quite significantly is the ability to personalize the dashboard and the mobile experience. Just to give you an idea how important the mobile experience is, 85% of the consumed data in Teams for Education happens on the mobile phone. Um, so that's the reason why uh, Viva Connection for us is such an amazing platform. The ability for organizations to immediately have a mobile application as well is super essential. So if you have not really uh, played around with it, how the ACE technology is, is seamlessly translated on the mobile experience, you mm -hmm. absolutely should. It's, it's, it's a no brainer. It is amazing that you have to only invest in the code once and you immediately can deploy it on the mobile experience as well is really a blessing, let's call it, for us in education because now we can actually invest in the card once and make it available in a mobile application as well. So like I mentioned, Viva Connections for Education, no new technology, 
more a here's scenarios for the students that we want to make available. If you have specific scenarios, if you have ideas that you've done, let me know. I'll put my email address in the chat. We're happy to promote you on our channels as well and with our customers. But this is something that is getting very important to us. And even though I can't share the usage uh, publicly at this point, at some point we will. We're seeing a huge uptick in this. We're seeing a lot of momentum. So uh, that's what Viva Connections for Education is. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Tetra. Really cool. Uh, um, any any chance you could actually? So, do you have a uh, account which can go to a preview mode and show the dashboard in a mobile view? Um, if, oh, if... Abs absolutely. I can absolutely do that. Yeah. There, because again, I, I just want to reinforce the 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 message related on the dashboard, and it oh, because sure. we always show things in a desktop view, and then people mm -hmm. get confused on wait. How does, how does that relate on a mobile? Yes. So what you see here is actually the, the faculty and staff view. So you're going to see some different cards here. But what I've done is really go into preview, right? And so now what you see here is a, a number of cards that are on the mobile experience. Let me just go back real quick to the student view because I, I've I spent a lot more time um, putting that in here. So there we go. Then I can go into my uh, edit mode real quick. And then click on mobile and you see here I have my assignments, I have my courses, I have my um, emails. And one thing I do want to call out because I, I sometimes feel that the people who put the effort in it don't get enough credit for it. You're going to see here a lot of GitHub um, samples uh, from the GitHub that VESA leads um, that make a lot of sense for education. Our customers love it. The fact that you have this my email, uh, the recent files that pulls out everything from the OneDrive uh, all the way to the cafeteria. These are things if I would click on preview would even be better Jethro. There we go. So now you can really see it in uh, a more <laughs> user friendly way, let's call it. But these are amazing things, right? I cannot say how many times I've pushed my customers to actually deploy these two cards because one of the things that a lot of our customers say, oh, our students don't read emails anymore. Well, if you put it on your student portal on your Viva Connections for Education, they will see that they have some heavy reading to do, right? When they click on Open Outlook, it will take them immediately where they need to be, the same thing for their files. So this is the biggest selling point for education is the fact that it's now boom immediately available on the mobile experience where they in the pre in previous engagements they had to build an application for iOS for Android and they spend a lot of time just building that and a lot of money as well now they can focus their efforts and money in actually the experience for their students rather than the technology itself excellent Exactly what I was looking for. Thank you, Tetra. Really, really no cool. Worries. It, it's just for us who know the, how powerful the mobile is, we don't forget mm -hmm. about always showing that, but it's incredibly, incredibly powerful. Uh, indeed, we didn't, well, students is an awesome scenario of like a frontline workers, even though they're, yep. they're not workers, but it's the similar kind of a concept as well. So, 100%. Really cool. Thank you, Tetra, on that one. Mm -hmm.